Today I'm going to show you how to create a trigger and send variables to a webhook in BotPress. This is a great way to integrate BotPress with other systems and automate your workflow. So if you haven't already, you're going to want to sign in or sign up to BotPress and then you can follow along in this tutorial. Once you're in BotPress, you want to come over to this side and create a chatbot. Then you want to hit edit and then you're going to want to start from a template. And then in here, you're just going to want to do a basic empty and just hit say hello to your chatbot. Once inside your chatbot, just click off this and you'll have a start and an end. From here, we're going to want to create some nodes we're just going to drag off here and we're just going to create a standard node and we're just going to call this the welcome message then we're going to add a card and we're just going to add a text block and in this text block we are just going to write hi welcome to my bot press bot then we're going to go to add another card and then from here we're going to select a single choice and it's going to ask us to set a question to the user so we're just going to put in here what would you like to do and then we're going to click on advanced then we're going to select choice we're just going to give them one choice which is capture my information then we're going to drag down and we're going to create another standard node and we're just going to call this one name and this one we're going to want to add another card and we're going to want to add a raw input in here we are just going to put what is your name then we're going to go to advanced and we're going to want to create a variable we're just going to call this one name we're going to say create name then we're going to want to add another card and put this one as email address and we're just going to say what is your email then we're going to put this one to another variable which is email and we're just going to create that and then we're going to add another card and we're just going to capture their phone number so we're just going to put phone number in here we're going to say what is your phone number and we're just going to select this one and we're just going to put this one to bone. Once those three variables are collected, you should be able to test the bot now and you'll be able to capture their name, email, and phone. Now we're going to want to capture those variables. We're going to go down and we're going to do another standard node. We're just going to call this one capture. Then we're going to want to copy in a execute code. In here, you can either type in send these variables to Zapier, Make, or whatever automation you're using, or you can edit it here and do your own. In order to edit this, you need to just click on this one. And you can use this here. Um, basically, you can put in your webhook here. If you actually put the address up the top here, it will put it in automatically here. So we just need to go to make Zapier and get your webhook information. So I'm going to use make and you're going to want to get started or log in. So once you have logged in, you're going to want to create a new scenario. In here, you're going to want to create a new webhook. So you want to click on here and type webhook. And then you've got mail hook and webhook. So just make sure you're selecting custom webhook. Then we're going to want to add a webhook. For this one, I'm just going to call this bot press trigger, as that's what we're using it for. And it's going to give me the hook here. And we're just going to copy this. We're going to go back to bot press. And you're going to copy in your address here. Once you have done this, you just want to click on the little cross here. And we're going to want to test the chatbot. So just select this one here and drag this up to the end. And then down here, we can just engage with the chatbot. So you just say hello. And we just want to capture my information. And you're just going to fill this out with whatever you want so i'm just gonna say matt matt at matt.uk and then a phone number which should be random once you come back into make it should say successfully determined so click ok it's up to you what you want to do next from here you either want to connect it to your crm or whatever flow that you're going to create here but i'm just going to do this to a google sheets just for the sake of this video we're just going to want to find google sheets we want to do an add a row you're going to want to connect your google account Add it here. If it's already there, then just come down to spreadsheet. I've created bot press triggers, which I'm just going to show you now. And then sheet one. And then it's going to have the values here from the cells in the Google Sheet. And we're just going to line those up. So you haven't made this Google Sheet just yet. So I'll show you how to do that now. But we'll go over here and you'll just create a new Excel sheet called Bot Press Triggers. And you just want to put name, email, phone. Once you have done that, just go back to make and obviously follow those steps that I just said. So just select which file it is, sheet one, and then just add these in. Click OK. And then we want to do run once, which is down the corner here. This is now waiting for us to send our variables. If we just go to these three little dots here on bot press and just hit start as a new user, we just put hello again, capture my information. My name is Matt. My email is Matt at Matt dot uk and our phone number is this and that has sent our variables across to make now so what you should see in here is one you'll see the info here that's sent through and obviously it should have created that into our google sheet as well and if we go to our google sheet you'll see the information here now the main reason for this video is obviously a trigger that is how you do the variables joseph asked this question of basically how do you create a trigger so the chatbot starts the conversation itself then obviously send variables in a chatbot over to make or wherever basically um it wasn't specific but i've done it this way just to show you so all you got to do now if you want this chatbot to respond at the start is right click at the top here and select trigger there's two ways of doing this so if you do that one you can select it but i'll just show you the other way before we do that if this window isn't out just go over here 
there's a little uh, icon and scroll down and you've got custom trigger or conversational trigger so the one that you want is conversational trigger so you just drag that in but if you just go trigger and select this one and then select the trigger and you want to do conversation start all you have to do is drag this down to the start here so just one last thing after you do the trigger you're going to have to add in a end message so in order to do that just delete the line and create a new standard node and we'll just call this end message just drag a text block in uh, which is cool thank you for your information we will be in touch soon that's it we just want to drag that one back up to the end and that's as simple as it is that's obviously a very simple but once you've done that you're just going to want to click on publish but once it's published you're just going to want to go to here and click back to dashboard but once back in your dashboard uh, just rename the bot if you want to. I've just called mine uh, trigger bot. And then at the top here, you can go to chat. You're going to see that the chat bot has started the conversation saying, hi, welcome to my bot press bot. What would you like to do? We're just going to say capture my information. Uh, we're just going to fill out some different information in here. So I'm just going to use bob, bob at bob.com. Phone number is 65321. Just before you do that, just make sure that you've hit run once on uh, make and just hit wait for new data. Then hit go on your message. Then it's going to come back with our end message, which is thank you for your information. We will be in touch soon. Over here, we should see that that's got Bob. And again, with the data in here, it should say three columns updated. And we should have the information in here. So that's how you create the trigger. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that quick video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.